Hey everyone, so you may notice I'm in a little bit different of a setting this week. I am in a hostel right now, and that's because the family I was au pairing for kicked me out yesterday. I was having a bit of an issue with them because I felt they were overworking me and not paying me enough for it. It wasn't what I thought we originally agreed on. So I asked if we could have a talk about it. And we never had a talk. Um, they just became completely absent and silent around me once I asked to have a talk. And from then on, it was super awkward. It was like I was walking on eggshells every day. Yesterday morning, I was headed out to meet up with some other au pairs in the area and they sent me a text message saying, could we have a talk when you come back? I said, sure. I'm just headed out right now for a few hours. Do you want me to come back now? And they said, well, we're gonna go ahead and let you go. This isn't working out for us and we're gonna put you up at a hostel for the rest of the time you're here in Perth which is only another five days. Today is Monday and I leave Friday morning. So not really that much time. And I was a bit shocked that they would go to that extreme measure because never one time have they complained to me about anything I've done wrong in their house. And I think it's strictly because I tried to stand up for myself on what I deserve for pay and for hours. I went back and they were just doing their own thing and I was like, should we have a chat? And they, I asked them what was what I did wrong, or what could I have done better, what made them come to this decision. And they said that, first they said it really generally, they said, oh, it's just not working now. We feel it's been a disruption having you here and it would just be easier if you leave. And I said, there, that's fine, but could you tell me what I could improve on for the future? And then they just started listing all of these minute things. It was just like so many things that I don't think there was actually one core issue. They said that I didn't know how to discipline the kids, that I let them watch too much TV, that I forgot to lock the door on the house one time. They said that the kid, I didn't take the kids anywhere, that there was too much chaos when they got home, and all of that was complete, completely untrue. Their kids run wild, and I actually did put some discipline into their schedule, so maybe they were disrupted in that way, because they actually heard no for once in their life. And I tried to keep them from eating so much sugar and junk all the time, because I think that makes their behavior go crazy. And I don't really need to get into all of the details, because he said, she said, you don't know. But what they did left me in a very vulnerable position and I really wish they would have just shared concerns with me from the beginning. I do believe that they got rid of me because I stood up for myself and because their new au pair is coming and I was supposed to train her and they think maybe that I will tell her things that may scare her off. Another thing that really bothered them was that in the evening time, I didn't normally hang out with them. Their evenings were drinking alcohol and watching shitty TV like The Bachelor, and that's not really my thing. I'm not really a big drinker, and I don't really want to hang out with a couple um, in the evening all the time. I guess when I've been with your children 12 hours a, t a day and I don't have a moment to myself, I do like to decompress in my own room take a shower, chat with my girlfriend, chat with my family, and work on my YouTube videos. I did that a lot while I was there. So I wasn't trying to be rude. It was just, I think I should be able to choose how I spend my free time. And to me, it was a job. Of course, I'm going to be kind to these people, but they said that was wrong. It wasn't a job. It was supposed to be a living arrangement. And I guess that's where some discrepancy comes in. I believe I should have equal equal rights, equal pay, because it is a job. And some people, I guess, they feel they can 
push their boundaries because the au pair becomes part of their family and they'll do things for that don't require extra pay. So I think I'm just very not tolerant of bullshit and they said they've never had an au pair complain before. I'm a bit older, I do realize what my rights are. My girlfriend is a lawyer, my mother is a lawyer, so I've just been raised to know what is and isn't okay when you're in a working relationship. And that's what it was, it was a working relationship. I ne negotiated getting half of my salary for this week, and they paid for my hostel, which, and they paid for an Uber to get me from their house to the hostel which was like a 45 minute drive, so it wasn't cheap. So I think they actually ended up paying more to get rid of me than they would have paid to keep me for this next five days. But in the end, I figure I actually am benefiting because I was miserable there. The night before all this happened, I was just bawling on the phone to my mother and it was just so, so awful. I had walked into them talking about me with their old au pair she had come over to visit and as I walked in it went dead quiet and they didn't say anything to me and that's how you know someone's been talking shit about you. These people, these people are not happy at all. I never want to get older and be stuck in that situation that they're in. I want to seek happiness in such a different way and I've learned so much from living with them and other families that I don't know if I want the typical American dream or the typical Australian dream because that dream doesn't look too happy. You've got the two kids, you've got the husband, you've got the wife, you've got the dog, the cat, the nice house. And just because you have those things in life does not mean you are happy. So I figure I'm off on my own now. I'm out of hostel. I'm going to Asia in a few days. So I'm not going to hold this with me. I'm not going to seek revenge on them. I'm not going to send them a nasty email or text message. I can move on with my life. They said it wasn't supposed to be personal, wasn't supposed to be malicious. And I'm not really sure if I can believe them, but I'm not going to hold a grudge against them. Um, I just think they should learn how to talk to someone who's having issues in their home, in their workplace, in their life. Be really good for them to learn. But. That's all I have. I just wanted to share that before I forgot my thoughts about it all. I want to share more about au pair experiences because there is so much to learn, so much to educate other au pairs about. I just met one today in the hostel and I mean she's 18, fresh from Germany and she just doesn't know anything about what she deserves in a working relationship and this is how these families are getting these che this cheap childcare. People that aren't educated. So I'm going to share more about au pairing as I go along. I just wanted to make sure my au pair experiences were over, but I have officially retired from living au pair. I've done four families, really disliked every single one, so I'm done, and I'm looking forward to just moving on.